Hey YouTube. Uh, today we uh, we're gonna do some uh, some uh, juicy pork chops in uh, this uh, fish fry pan, and I'm gonna use it like a uh, uh, like a griddle. A subscriber of mine sent that to me for. For being a good boy, I guess, and good friend. All right. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little uh, um, uh, sauce. What we're gonna have, and uh, what I'm gonna do, start off with is uh, one tablespoon of my uh, meat rub. Now I use this meat rub on everything. It's uh, uh, Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and uh, chili powder. And uh, there's no salt in it. Men, men and the wife are on a low salt diet, and uh, she's allergic to paprika. So that's that's the reason for the chili sauce. All right, now what we're gonna do is gonna add a uh, about a tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Now hold on a minute now. Don't don't get all say ooh, ooh, ooh. this is 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 uh kind of sweet like a sweet barbecue sauce. And we're gonna put a tablespoon of that in there. Maybe just a little bit more. You know how I make a mess on everything I do. And uh we're going to uh put a little bit of uh uh, thing stir fry oil in there about a teaspoon there you go mix that up real good And what we're gonna do, we get this all mixed up real good, is uh, we're gonna brush this on the uh, pork chops and then we're gonna uh, pan fry them. Uh -oh. Now that the uh, sauce is uh, all mixed up, we're gonna paint this real good on each side and what I've also done is uh, if you'll notice is, is uh, and I slid it there at the fat to keep it from curling up when we pan fry them I paint it up real good Okay, we got them all painted up with the uh, with the marinade. Uh, we're gonna let them uh, sit uh, for about ten minutes till the uh, uh, the the, frying, uh, the fish frying pan is uh, it done got warmed up. Uh, I'm gonna use this just like a uh, a flat griddle. I got a uh, an oblong eye on my stove. And uh, being it's deep like this, it's going to keep from making a mess on the stove. And, and uh, I can make a lasagna in it. I can do spatchcock chicken in the oven with it. I can do hamburgers on it. It's just it's just going to be a helpful tool. And I thank my subscriber so much for uh, sending that to me. I also have had a subscriber send me this hat. And I sure appreciate that gift. Thank you so much. All right, when the uh, when the pan gets hot, we'll bring you back. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna put some uh, of the stir fry oil down. It's flavored. It's got a uh, a garlic flavor to it too. Okay. All right. Here we go. Put that there. Now, this is a cool little thing that I got. My mom sent this to me. I don't know about twelve. 15 years ago, it's called a pig, a pigtail. At least that's what it said on the box when I got it. All right. Yeah. We'll let them go for about five minutes on each side. About five minutes we're gonna flip them. We'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna see how we look right there. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Oh yeah. Okay. Feel like a short order cook now. See how cutting those uh uh little nip, nips in the fat keep the uh, pork chop from curling up all right then you let those cook for about five minutes all right i'm going to add just a little bit of water right there in the center not much it's called a little steam and we're going to put this pan on top of it. Just like that. Just like that. And what that's going to do is just going to steam it and help moisturize it. When we get done, we'll be bringing it right back. Alright, here it is all plated up. Homemade mashed potatoes, homemade uh, white pepper gravy. Peas and carrots, and a beautiful pork chop. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> song! That's gonna be some good eating. All right. I want to uh, thank everybody for, uh, for visiting my channel. Remember, put a smile, uh, put a, uh, invite somebody to your table. Put a smile on somebody's face and make a memory. And thank you, my subscribers, for my uh, my, my gifts that were sent to me. T Till next time, happy eating.